All right, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks for the recipe, Redeem, Kojiro. Uh, this is the boss music. It's not some new free soundtrack that I got for the waiting screen. Uh, I just think it's a lot more interesting if I have the in-game music playing over the, uh, intro screen. Uh, and I, I also, entirely honest, I have not been keeping track of my follower count whatsoever, so... I don't actually know what I'm at right now. It has been a little while. Alright. Uh, but also, time to go straight into this boss that I was, uh... struggling with... previously. Uh, I don't remember... most of my buttons. So this could be interesting. Oh, and also, the game decided to do a little bit of lag. That's nice. Oh, I just remembered that uh, I have this set up for fighting the boss in first phase. And also this is the... Um, what is it? First time that I'm using sword to fight this boss? Now that I got the uh, upgrade for it. Uh, it's pretty strong, not gonna lie. I feel like I don't even need to use my casts. But, uh... They're still good. If I can hit with them, that is. All right, no problem there, Kojiro. Ooh. Uh, just enjoy the music. Ooh. Not too tall of a task, surely. And I'm fairly certain, uh, from what I saw when I was watching Ina's streams of this game, is that, uh, what is it? The knight who I'm using right now increases in power? Or not increases in power, but, uh, gets a different... What is this? This thing? Yeah. Now that he's leveled up a little bit. I rarely use them anyways, so it's probably not going to affect my play too much. And also, apparently, um, ranged attacks are pretty busted in this game, is the other thing I learned. I'm trying to remember which boss she defeated in, like, three attempts that took me maybe five, five to seven. It wasn't Mad Knight. I think we took a similar amount of attempts on Mad Knight. I've actually wanted to go back through... All of the, uh, ba -ba -ba bosses in this game, my streams of them, and just see how many attempts each one took me. Hmm. I thought that was going to be the uh, laser for some reason. But I'm doing much better than normal. Ooh, and by normal I mean previous attempts. Ah, uh, you can't jump that, can you? Seems like something that would be so easy to get over. Alright, but additionally... Um, these casts are actually not terribly useful. So let me change those up. 
I was seeing very little use out of them. Probably fungal and lunge. I just replaced the wrong set. That's fine. I can put these ones on the last set. Hmm. Hmm. Should I actually be doing the same thing that I did before, where I have... I think I should. Okay, I'm gonna... Have this be my primary setup. What was the other one that I put on this? Mace, right. And then I can have this one be the knockdown setup. Where I just hit him with all of the heavy attacks. Is this really only level 2? I suppose I should probably upgrade that as well. Yeah, why not? Oh. oh. Do I give it a combo boost? I don't think so. I'd be a bit nervous about that. No, oh, why not? Most things in this game are pretty infinitely farmable. Alright, so what does that do? Well, it looks better, and it goes up higher. I don't know that that's necessarily too terribly high of an upgrade, but... We'll see. Alright, primary set. Hmm. Yep. You know what? I'm gonna try using this in the first phase. <laughs> no. Maybe not. Yeah, that's far too slow to hit anything. Or anything that blocks. And this man has a penchant for blocking. Hmm. Come on. I... Absolutely cannot deal with this enemy when he's hiding in corners. Oh, okay. For some reason I keep thinking pressing F is going to do that. But no, it just switches me to an entirely different moveset. I'm trying to think, what game could I have been playing that has F as the use powerful ability button? I can't think of anything. Alright, come on over. remember this fight taking so long previously. Maybe the hammer was the way to go. I'm gonna keep trying with this one, though. I keep thinking I'm gonna get hit by an X attack out of nowhere. I was just doing that for fun. It's definitely not advisable. Okay, right, right.
I feel like I'm not utilizing my cooldowns as much as I could. I forgot to check, but I think uh, upgrading the shield, uh, Headless Knight, I think his name is, actually increases the parry window. But I could be talking nonsense. Alright. Let's go. Oh, thank goodness he moved closer this time. Ooh. Oh, this man is tricky. Okay. Right. For some reason, I thought holding shift would block. Oh, there we go. Finish him off with a parry. Very nice. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I've only added to your burdens. As the kingdom approached oblivion, its subjects became deathless abominations. My brethren fought on until madness consumed them, or the rain did. I managed to stave off the corruption of my mind and found myself in the throne room. My blade held over the king I was meant to protect. He shook and blubbered in exasperation. The princess and knights who gave... Priestess and knights who gave their lives for the kingdom were disposable. This was where the king's obsession with immortality had led us. The king's words dripping with greed were the palpable lament of his corrupt heart. It was plain to me, as the blood pumping in that heart also flowed through my veins. I too had not fought to protect the kingdom or its people, but my own interests. I only wished for him to admit he had been wrong to abandon me. Sure enough, as I held my sword over him, his eyes were fixed only on me. I had been waiting for this, waiting for our eyes to meet for the very first time. What a, what a fun little story. Knight Captain Julius unleashes a series of jabbing attacks with a lance that allows for maximum reach. Advancing thrusts can be made by using the skill while moving sideways. The king's bastard son, after enduring a hard life, he rose through the knightly ranks to get back at his father. His tenacity is unparalleled. I actually quite like spear-type weapons. After dodging, Julius grabs hold of you and charges forwards. So is that a second dash? Oh, it's... It's just movement. While dashing, attack button plus attack. Uh, charging strike of Knight Captain Julius's lance can break through pustulant walls. The longer the dash, the more magic builds up with the spear. This not only increases attack range and power, but also powers through thicker pustulant walls. Okay, so that's only when doing the long distance dodge, I see. A knight driven from his castle. How much hatred must one be consumed by to kill one's own kin? That's fun. Well, I suppose this is the fastest movement speed now. 
Thank you for giving me an achievement for attacking nothing with maximum charge. I assume that's why I got that achievement. It's the only thing that I was doing at that time. Alright, well, let's see what Julius' attacks look like then, shall we? Alright. Bit slow. Air attacks? Same thing. Oh, but air attacks are faster. That's nice. Not my favorite, but I could probably work with this. Alright. Let's just clear out the memories. Can I do this in the air? Okay, but I drop to the ground. Wait, what? I... I don't remember there being a pustulon wall there. Where did I come from? Wait, what? Now I'm just confused. Oh, did I? I must have come from above. Drop down. That makes sense. Oh, yes, I, I went over. All right. Here, what, is, what does yours do? Okay, it's your laser beam. That makes sense. And it hits through shields. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I would have liked for him to be a parry as well. That could have been interesting. King's Note 2. The friend who stole away my beloved son is somewhere in the castle. I will not suffer this trespass. My righteous rage will not be sated until I hunt them down, for I cannot allow a dynasty of royal blood to meet its end in mine own halls. If only my plans had come to fruition, but no hope yet remains. How sad. He didn't actually want to get rid of his son. Right. And also, a very nice ring. Speeds up accumulation of SP gauge. An ancient warrior's gift to a priestess. The two are quite close, despite his being a disembodied spirit, and her his master. Though she has passed on, the warrior's spirit yet remains, thinking fondly of the time they spent together. That's not my spirit, right? Or is it? Ow. I guess I just didn't heal. All right. And even still with this new ability, there's something that I can't reach up there. Um, can you open the door, please? Oh, nope, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, this. Oh, can't hit them through solid steel, unfortunate. Alright, but really, what is... Where am I meant to be right now? Well, I mean, I know I'm meant to be... breaking open those pustulant walls, but... Why would they just stop me from walking back? Ooh, it takes three whole slots. Not something easily placed. Right. And there's no other... resting places in the entirety of this place. I don't see anything at the very least. Huh. They'd have you go all the way through this maze again. 
point. Well, that's the obvious place to go for the next area because there's a pestilent wall immediately to the right. But I would like to open the pestilent wall that's down here. Uh, to the right one and then down one. Oh, I have to, uh, uh, what is it? Ow, ow. Stop being so mean to me. No? Where's the way down? Is it further than I thought? Oh, right. Oh, wait. I thought it said you had to press shift again, but you can just hold it. Ow. I'm barely taking any damage anymore. Or I suppose I just have a large health pool now. Yes, the way down there just brings you into a locked room that you can't actually get out of. Ow, stop it. We want this way down, I believe. Mm, no, maybe not. Wait. Oh no, this is the way. Okay. I don't remember what was on that other area, though. Alright, is there no way to kill these enemies without them blowing up? Okay. I need maximum charge to get through this. It does look quite nice. Alright, what secrets have you for me now? Faden's letter. I found an interesting fragment from a stone tablet. It seems to be engraved with an ancient spell. If I can repair and decipher the tablet, I may be able to call upon its magic. I must note that casting an unknown spell may lead to irreversible consequences. I don't think I should inform the king of this. At least, not until all the fragments are retrieved. Thus, I think it's best to leave it in your care. It's not safe here, and other mages may catch wind of it. I'll be in touch should I learn anything new. Alright. Stone tablet. Hmm. Ah, have I found one of these before? Engraving can be deciphered upon collecting all seven fragments. Alright. That's probably a, uh... Secret ending. Oh no, there it is. That's the first stone tablet I have collected. Wow. That certainly is interesting. I was sort of hoping for... Maybe an upgrade material, or... A new trinket? Sorcery band probably would have been the most helpful item. Alright. Uh, I am actually just gonna go straight back up without uh, teleporting. I keep pressing tab to uh, change the map view. Uh, but shift tab opens up your Steam. What is it? A little app thing. I don't know how to describe it. Overlay, that's what they're called. It opens up my overlay. Uh, which just stops me moving entirely. Alright, I don't think this dash is going to carry me to any new heights. Oh, I do... Okay. Just a second. I need to, uh, switch out my spirits. Because... 
Apparently... Uh, you can use... What is it? The Hammer Nun. What's her name? Sigurd? Silva. Alright. Apparently you can use Silva to, uh, reach high places by jump, charge, charge, like that. And you can get up higher with that. So. And go do that at a couple of locations. And I think that area on the left is the best place to start, because I think it's just one high up item that I'm missing. Oh no. Careful, young lady. Alright. Fine. That box, box mimic. It's one of the dirtiest tricks. Hello, Pyromancer. I uh, beat the boss that I was struggling on from the last stream in two attempts, I think it was. So I probably just needed some time away from the game to uh, properly recuperate, I suppose. Alright. Oh, and it, it gave me this dash ability. Uh, and also I've learned that you can use Silva's spirit to get up high. Yes, that's fine, that's fine. Stagnant blight. Alright. And now I have cleared out all of the early map. Look at that. It's just all orange on the far left side of the map. Right. Where to next, though? Let's, uh, let's try and visit that other room on the, uh, blue room on the top row. be the path that leads me up. Well, I suppose just the one that doesn't lead me down. Once, charge, charge, jump again, charge, charge. Here I am. All right. Oh, Kojiro redeemed it at the very beginning of this stream, so one week from today is going to be your next chance. I think I'll just continue on the main line. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just making sure you are forewarned. Alright, well, I sort of just have to keep Silva on now. Wow. What? <laughs> oh, okay. One, two, hop. Oh, this isn't the next zone? Snowdrop bracelet. Gla greatly reduces damage received from enemies. A bracelet made from snow flowers that bloom in chill climes. Imbued with the prayers of a knight from, fort, from the fort. Wreathed in sincerity and past memories. Ah, I see. 
I honestly thought that was going to be the next zone. Alright, how do I get to this next zone then? Um, mm, that's not how you normally attack. Silly gargoyle. Attack like I'm used to so that I can kill you easily. Right. Is this just a path that I entirely missed? Seems like it. Alright, here we go. Oh my goodness, that didn't even kill them. These birds are ruthless. Ah, that's... I didn't have claws. There we go. Oh, what a level. Just pure verticality. That was fun. All right. Once down at the bottom, there has to be something. Oh, red flowers. And an item. Nymphalia's ring hastens the healing prayer. Ring engraved with the name of Nymphalia, the White Priestess of Dawn. It is said White Priestesses are born with a shining mark emblazoned in their foreheads. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Because... Lily's mark is not shining. It looks like it's a scar. Alright, there has to be something here. You better not be doing this difficult climb for nothing. Looks like I'm probably doing it for nothing. Alright. This is difficult. Oh, that looks like it could be an item. No. Alright. Oh, okay. I did find something. King of First Ages Torn Note 1. I found a small girl in the Deadlands. She didn't speak, but fixed her gaze upon me as she clung desperately to me. I don't know what came over me then. Had I gone mad, wanting to bring back, to, back a child of the ancients? Was it because she resembled us? Because she was a child? Perhaps a sense of obligation? Perhaps I wanted my sins to be forgiven? Hmm. That's a hundred stagnant blight. And another note. Let's read the note first. King of the First Stages Torn Note 2. Though he once thought them completely wiped out, the ancients have returned. From the farthest reaches of the land they come, reanimated by the blight. The children of the ancients were revered and worshipped in land's edges, the white priestesses. They were the only ones who could stave off the blight. And though I knew full well the toll that purification places on their bodies, I could find no way to forestall their ultimate sacrifice. Another sin to add to the pile. Atonement now seems a bitter joke. All right. Thank you for a hundred blight. Very generous. What 
wonderful scale this map has. Oh, the hinterlands. Oh. Alright. And a couple of new relics. More damage reduction. Oh, and only one for Nymphalia's ring. I think I might want to, uh, replace that. Mm. Not right now. But that will certainly be the first item that I seek to include once I get another necklace. Oh! It's the White Priestess, who's my mother's sister someone? The White Priestess of the Fount. The Fountain the Fountainhead lies beyond. Already. This isn't a boss, is it? Flowers both blighted and purified have taken root even this far out. Is this? This is it. My final purification. Is this the last boss? Lily. Alright, but what is this? Nothing? All right, let me go back to the uh, bench and save the game. And then I'll try purifying the flowers, the memory of the priestess. I'll be purifying something, and it might just end the game. Did I save, or did I just sit down? I do not remember. I would much rather be safe than sorry. Save. Now this carry dash doesn't feel too much faster than walking. I suppose it is. Alright, let's see what happens. Got an achievement. Benevolence. Hello. Oh, that text color is difficult to read. But I believe that is Lilith Fallen Angel Witch Bop. And I purified a flower and fell over. I've been watching all along. I tried to help just like everyone else. And by font, I think I mean text color. <laughs> I don't know why I said font. But this burden is not yours to bear. This blighted world is of my making. I've brought it upon myself. Isn't it tragic that the sole purpose of being born is to carry the sins of those who came before? Truthfully, I wish you had been born far in the future. Into a purified world, free of blight. So please, I beseech you. Go and live of your own accord. Alright. That color is different now. Hmm. Yes, I can, I can properly see that now. I think it's just because the color balance on my second monitor is a bit off. The blight is being purified. Are you able to go on? Ah! This sucked the blight out of me. The White Priestess of the Fount is not only purifying you, Lily. She is attempting to purify the blight that permeates all of Land's End. Her spirit is gone, but surely her body must remain. I can't continue on past this point. A deathless pact I made with the Priestess long ago chains me. 
leave the rest to me. I hope you can fulfill the priestess's final wish. For my part, I failed in those very same duties. This feels very climactic. Come now, don't give me that look. Our journey was one of many hardships, and yet I found solace in your company. Is this an ending? The pact will bring us together again one day. Until then, live and be well. Alright, ending A, probably. Alright, now let me go back and play more, because I've barely come close to finishing. Is there... Alright. I don't see anything on that screen that would prompt me to believe that uh, there was more to do. Alright. I think that's probably the best ending that you can get in this game, honestly. Uh, you know. By, by best, I mean emotionally. Uh, because I imagine almost all of the other endings involve some level of suffering or hardship. Alright. Now, as for how things are... I think I want to head down to the, what is it, the research area? Yes, yeah, so there's plenty of rooms down here that I have yet to explore. Now that I know that uh, Silva's hammer can help me with the more difficult jumps, there's a good chance I'll be able to get through most of it. Alright, and I also have this dash now. I don't think I've come down here since I got the dash. Hmm? Wait, what? Did I just not do that at all? Or is this place flooded? Darkness envelops this place. Let us proceed with caution. Alright, you got it, night friend. I detect these. I see. Is there one for every letter of the alphabet? Like in near? That seems pretty likely, honestly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right, how much how much maximum health do I have? Okay. I can actually tank Oh, there we go. It'll leave me with three health. Oh, no. Alright, so I assume... I, I'm, I'm fairly certain I can probably think of all of the conditions. So, for the second ending, I probably just have to purify every single main boss. And then for the next ending after that, uh, I probably have to do, you know, 
purify every boss and collect all of the stone tablet fragments. Those are called gloom glow flowers. I don't need confirmation on that either, but just my guess. How they flourish despite it all. They glow oddly luminous no matter how dark and gloomy their environs. Looking at them at night helped ease my d dispirited slumbers. Someone else I knew was fond of their luster as well. Hmm. Executioner's vow in the darkness of night or shadows protected land's edge where the judge and executioners of the sinners who lay buried in the depths of the earth, we hold no glory, land, or family to our name, and offer our lives to hold, lives whole to serve our kingdom until our dying breath. Oh, and that was all of the information I needed, apparently. Oh, these dogs are trickier now. They don't just do the spontaneous charge and jump. In fact, they're actually pretty bad at attacking, all things considered. Oh, hello, you're new. Ah. Alright, I need to get... I have not downloaded this enemy's move set yet. Alright, come on. My goodness. The least I ask is that you're able to actually hit me. Oh. You can actually spam this pretty, uh, freely. Alright, come on. Oh, secret pit. With a gross thing below me. I knew there'd be something like this. Oh, I can't hit them because they're too short. This weapon's one weakness, short enemies. Oh right, I should probably uh, switch up to the exploration set, so that I can... Ah, he does actually launch out a little bit. Alright. Not far enough. Can I get it by jumping off of the edge? No, not strong enough. Hmm. Yeah, some jumping just cancels him out entirely. Alright. Is it? Oh, it was a timing thing. 800 stagnant blight. Alright. Spoil me, why don't you? I actually don't know why I can't use spears underwater. Spears are like the best item to use underwater. Right? They have such little surface area. Can I still use that? No, okay. Oh, that's some heavy damage off of those poison clouds. All right. Uh, I need a different weapon. Uh, and you know what? That different weapon is going to be ranged attack. Hmm. 
lane. Oh, and also, let's uh, see about enhancing some of this, huh? Hmm. I think I bump up a lane. Uh, and also, I'm certainly upgrading Headless Defender. Okay, I could... I could get him all the way up to max level. And this is my favorite ability thus far. I'd really like to. Oh wait, no, I can't. I was looking at numbers backwards. Never mind, I'm just stupid. Alright. Anyone else I want to get to level 5 or 4? Seagrid? I like Seagrid. Alright. I need to change up my relics as well. Let's just take everything off. These just all stays. Amount of blight gained, yes. Amount of blight gained, yes. And now I still have five slots to work with. Hmm. Bump up max HP by a bit. Let's recover HP. And hasten the prayer. Why not? Yeah, this seems like a decent exploring setup. Oh, you know what? Let's take off that. The uh, maximum HP and add some movement speed. Maybe that's what I was actually supposed to do. Does that make my dash reach further? Wait, where am I? Oh, I took the lower path instead of the upper one. Alright. Fair enough. I have absolutely no idea what I mean by saying fair enough in that situation. I think... I don't even understand my own nomenclature. I think fair enough to me just means I understand. But that's not what the word means. It's just what I say. I keep trying to uh, down jump to ground pound instead of, you know, down attack. Just makes more sense to me for it to be a uh, down jump for ground pound. Do I get anything from these rats or? Are they just infinite spawn? Therefore worth nothing. Oh, light. Death will not find us here. We will rot forever in this prison. Oh, you look pretty dead now. Probably wasn't worth it to use the scream in order to uh, kill some of the weakest enemies in the game. A little bit of Furious Blight. Okay, let me actually explore this previous area a bit more thoroughly. 
because I'm nearly out of movement upgrades as far as I can tell. There can't be too many more. All right, I can make that jump. All right, or I could if I was swinging my hammer in the correct direction. Ooh. All right. Let's try it from a uh, higher starting point then. Hmm. Alright, maybe from this side? Is that a platform there? No, it's just the background. Alright. One, two, jump. One, two, dash. One, two... Okay, I need to start further away, actually, uh, so that I can dash towards the wall. Hmm. Oh, right. After the dash, you can do it again. Oh, okay. Nope. Okay. One away and one towards. The the very exciting speedrunning tech. Except I think this is actually intended. For some reason. There we go. All for 30 stagnant blight. And that's probably worth it, really. Even though I'm getting stagnant blight by the hundredfold now. Finally, back from whence I died. All right. Oh no. Those things do a lot of damage, huh? Maybe I should be wearing the uh, item that decreases enemy damage dealt by a substantial amount. Ow. I'm just running. Nothing can stop me now. All right. These things are a lot easier to parry than to actually hit. Completely indestructible? Oh no, they aren't completely indestructible. They're just pretty durable. That seems a bit odd. I would assume that they were completely indestructible. Because, what's the point of them if they aren't? In fact, they give me quite a lot of health back. Or not quite a lot, but free health. Since I don't have to worry about um, them hitting me back. My goodness. The sound effect of my charge coming back underwater is quite a lot. Also, I accidentally hit the wrong enemy, but that's fine. Right. I guess I have to go all the way down here. Because Elaine does not have 
good target priority at all. If there's a way to trick Elaine into hitting the right thing, because she obviously doesn't want to. Something that you have to force her to do. There aren't too many bosses in this game. I don't know why I can't think of the one that uh, apparently is rendered super easy by the ability to shoot it from range. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. Oh, I'm back here. There has to be some sort of underwater secrets in this place as well. Alright. Back here, that's where I got a whole bunch of blight from. Very good source. Alright. I don't think I turn right here. Oh, yep, I certainly didn't, because you exist. Oh my goodness, how many of these are you? I know the fact that you get moved back and up is integral to the jumps that you make with her, but it's uh, pretty irritating in normal combat. Alright, what's up the left wall? Okay, so, uh, it's where I'm supposed to go anyways. Uh, or where it easily leads me to, I suppose. Oh wow, this was just three ways to get to the exact same place, wasn't it? Alright, there has to be a secret hidden somewhere. Because this area to the right is, yep, that's just a new zone. Alright, where's the secret? I need to examine all of the walls very carefully. Ceilings, too. Those tend to be pretty good at hiding things. Alright. I find this corpse here suspicious. I don't know if it's leading me to anything. Oh, that was close. And that was hit. A bit more than close there. Alright, what happens if I just hit you normally? Oh, you don't seem to take damage from normal attacks. It seems like it is actually only that attack that hurts. Interesting. I wonder if any other weapons are capable of harming them. And I also wonder if that is an oversight or if that's intended. Because I could go either way, honestly. <sighs> oh. Alright, this has to be something else. Something more than just a pathway between different rooms. Oh! There's a resting spot here. I won't rest just yet, because uh, I'm healthy enough. And if I did rest, uh, da, 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 that would respawn everything. And you can actually teleport to places you've discovered, even if you haven't uh, sat there. Which is nice. Executioner is missive. Prisoners set to be executed will be taken to the subterranean lab and handed over to the King's Mage Brigade. 
Fifteen have been named as test subjects. Dark executioners entering the verboten domain must do so in groups of three. All right. Yeah, this place isn't very nice with its prisoners. Right, can I get through that with just... Okay. This place is just... Full of these. Okay. Full charge. Got it. Nothing pansy. Alright, you, uh... Didn't get too far with that attempt. You just sort of died up in the air. Ow. How could I have been so foolish? Ah, interesting. Wait, am I actually... Okay. Interesting. No, no. What an odd little puzzle. All right. All right. Just get high enough that I can hit you. Okay. Will you hit me? No. Good. I still feel like that's an exploit. Oh! Interesting, you can break them with, uh, ground pound. Or you can just do that. Obviously. Just danger zone hitting enemies are slightly annoying. Oh my goodness. If that didn't cause you to explode, there we go. Oh, you know what else could probably hit these is the uh, charged attack from the claws. is actually in the way. Were you expected to know how to destroy these? That seems like an awfully tall order. Oh, too high. sound is going to be in my dreams tonight. Charged attack and multiple dingings of reduced damage hits. Alright, come on. Blow up and then act like you don't know nobody. Is that room pointless? I guess so. Well, I mean, other than to empower my charge. Oh, okay. There we go. What a puzzle. Ah, we're here. Heretic's Max greatly reduces damage sustained while in blighted fog while in air or water. 
mask worn by sorcerers entering the Verboten Domain, provides protection against the poisonous miasma therein. Alright, I was right. You do have to reach that through a separate area. Well, well. That's good. I don't need it yet. Uh, because I'd much rather explore the area that I was in previously. Please don't die. Okay. I don't know why I thought they would, but I was worried that those walls were going to regrow. Can I? Okay, I can't get back up easily, so... Uh, I guess we're gonna stay down here. I do like the music of this place a bit better. I... I thought you said that greatly reduces damage taken. Oh, is it a trinket? It must be. Yes. Oh, and it even costs a point. That's unfortunate. All right. Let's see how much it's reduced by. A lot. That is... a substantial amount. I'm not actually entirely sure what to do with this now that I have it. Like, obviously, it makes these areas a lot less dangerous, but... And I'm still losing a lot of health for that. Is there something up there? Probably. I don't remember seeing anything. Ah, oh, this. This is it. Down here. Oh. Okay. I can't do that constantly. That's... I need to actually have an action plan there. Ah, and also you. Hello. Can you hit me up there? No, it doesn't look like you actually can. All right. Literally no fears. Oh no. My chat disconnected. That probably means my stream dropped as well. Uh, I'm not seeing any evidence of that though. My timer is still running. I'm gonna slow down just to be cautious. You wanna reconnect the chat properly? That'd be nice. Oh no. Okay. Oh, never mind. They do know I'm here. Ah, oh, come on. Is this actually an issue with my internet or Streamlabs? I can just have chat open on a separate window, like I normally do there. Alright. I don't think chat's disconnected. Actually, I need to move that down a little bit, but I can see the uh, live counter. Just to make sure that I've not dropped. Oh, connection disconnected. It is probably an issue with my internet, then. My stream doesn't seem to have dropped yet, though. Also, I think that's the first time I've actually managed to kill one of those successfully, so that's nice. Ow. Goodness. No manners. Oh. 
Oh. All right. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is not actually an area. It's an area that allows me to access another area. I appreciate the chutzpah, but uh, I feel like there are easier solutions. Such as just moving the dash wall to the area where I was trying to get through that I couldn't. Alright, there's also still a secret in here. Oh, probably in the uh, poison lake below me. Alright, let's dive in and find out. Ow. Alright, I encountered nothing and I'm out of healing items. Well, it won't hurt me to die down here, as long as I'm searching. Alright, is it... Nope. Alright. I can just go back at any time. I'd much rather clear that portion of the map out, so I'm just gonna go back there. Unless it's, um, something that I need to go directly up for. Because I think that's an upgrade that I'll be able to get. It seems like it. Um, specifically this area here. Looks like an area that might require me to go directly up. Just based on the, uh, background materials. No, it has to be something underwater, right? Because they wouldn't give you the ability to go under acidic water without putting something down there, right? Also, where am I and how did I get here? Ah, ooh, mm. Ah, uh, that's what happened. I didn't go a level down enough. Which actually means that the secret could actually be up here. Uh, but probably not, given that there's nothing up there. terribly shallow area. And I actually wonder... No. Doesn't look like it. Uh, I wonder if it's going to be... an item that is above where one of these bloated poison corpses comes from. But I think it's probably just straight up from there. Or it could have something to do with that mushroom that I noticed earlier. And by earlier, I mean in my last stream. Mm, doesn't look like it, though. be up above there, because there's a beating heart. Very appealing looking. Could it have something to do with the monorail? No, 
Alright, I can't even stand up there. There's something in this room, though. Alright, it must be inaccessible at this point. I'll just soldier onwards. That is actually a lot of fun. Oh, that's interesting. The little... Oh. Yeah, the little slime ball didn't actually die. Alright, and where am I even... Oh, wow. That was very nearly death. Oh, is there a charge wall over here? Yes, there is. That's why. Not a big fan of the fact that I was instantly dumped into poisonous smoke that I can't really escape from. Oh, and I'm out of healing. That's nice. Alright, well, I need to move quickly in this case. Oh my goodness, not again. Oh, and I'm out of casts. Well, bully for me, I suppose. Let's go back and try not to take quite so much damage. I still don't know why that flower is there. It doesn't do anything for anyone. If I'm going to be seeing that flower, that means I'm either coming from or going to the bench. I'm not going to be skipping it. Nope, nope, nope. <sighs> My goodness. Alright. I get it. You're all big threats. You're very scary. Alright. Oh, I already broke it. Just do a little bit more stamina damage, please, Hammer, please. Or I can just dodge to the opposite side of these enemies, right? Most of the time, at the very least. Alright, I don't need to worry about you. Oh, I'm out of healing already. Lovely. Oh, there's a safe spot here. Any other secrets? No? How did I go through four healing items already? I actually have no idea. Alright. I'm just running ahead.
Oh, this looks sluggy and slimy. Faden's Archives 4. Coming into contact with a blighted white priestess does not seem to have spread the affliction. Thus, I have collected a sample of blighted flesh from the specimen for study. Outward appearance is not all that... is not all that differs when compared to standard blighted flesh. More shockingly, rather, than an uncontrollable spread. Their bodies all but suppress the met uh, metastasis of the blight and its effects on the mind. It's unlike any case of the blight I've witnessed prior. If this discovery can return conscious throughout the afflicted, perhaps I can bring Muriel back to herself. Am I about to fight Muriel? This looks like it could be a bot. Okay, no. It's a restroom. Thank goodness. Okay. There is almost undoubtedly a skill that uh, allows you to fly up towards light, it seems. Please don't knock me back into the other room. I'll lose all my progress on killing you. Got a bit of range to it, huh? Alright, back to work. Oh, right. Kind of wish I had the, uh, what is it? That flower attack on my melee setup. But alas. Alright. Sure is nice to just be able to fly while I attack. Alright, fine. Alright, I need... No. Oh, and I did not mean to do that. Oh, finally. Somewhere where I don't have to be constantly afraid for my life. Oh, just target the one directly in front of you. Please. To explore the the mud waters first. All right. Why are these ones so passive? It's also very easy to accidentally trigger that while in the water. Okay. Uh, nothing in the water. Absolutely. Nothing. Oh, not another one of you. Oh. You're as ugly as you are dangerous. No, mm -mm. My goodness, Doris's aim is terrible. I think her name's Doris. I've actually just forgotten. No, mm -mm.
Oh. <sighs> Cooldown on that shield ability is... It's killed me numerous times at this point. Can I just ignore all enemies? I can. Okay. Wonderful. It has such a delay on that attack. It has a delay on all of its attacks. It's almost impossible to parry, as well. Oh, no. I feel like it almost... is designed to be difficult to parry. And also, it just be too easy, really. <sighs> this one's more dangerous than the ones I've fought previously. I've died to this more times than some bosses. I thought maybe the shockwave would be enough. Alright, so. I need a plan of attack going in. Alright, I'll drop the both of these clouds and then I'll immediately switch to the other one. Alright. Got hit once. Also, my plan of attack did literally nothing. The only thing that changed was that I got a successful parry. Alright. Just three boxes. Where is this? Oh. Ah, okay, I recognize this area now. But why does it go? Okay, that's why it goes even higher. You really shouldn't have come here. Well, I already did. Nothing you can do about it. Alright. Did I need that shortcut? That one seems a little bit unnecessary. And that is a very fun long distance ground pound. I kind of wish the ground pound had played through between screens. <sighs> there had to have been something that I was going to say after that. Because I paused. I have no idea what was going to come out of my mouth. Alright, you know what? Stop being able to turn around. It's not fair. Oh, not another one. Do I even want to... Actually, wait. Can it hit... Okay, it can hit me. thing about this one is that I can just run away and heal. 
Uh, bad thing is that I can't really heal anymore, so this is gonna have to be the one. There we go. Oh, a hundred whole stagnant blight. That's pretty nice. Alright, looks like there's nothing else in there. I didn't get any stagnant blight for killing the last one, so that's a pretty big step up. Oh my goodness. How many of you are there? Yeah, nothing. I suppose I get experience for each of them that I kill. Oh, thank goodness that attack reached. Ow. Oh, mm -mm. Okay, I guess it does always swing twice. I suppose that's my fault for not anticipating it. Alright, but I still don't know the purpose of the shortcut higher up. Wait a second, have I gone this way? Yes, I have. That's where I entered from. Oh, you know what? I could have just done that. It was the only instance where I think I've ever had a range advantage on one of those enemies. Alright, can I even hit it from here? No, I can't. Wow, you can change platforms. Aren't you special? My goodness. That was nerve-wracking. Oh, you can change platforms because one of your attacks causes you to jump. I get it. Oh, I was facing the wrong way. Gonna be honest, not a fan of these enemies. They attack faster than I can parry. It's automatically a red mark in my book. All right. Uh, but I do actually want to... What is it? All right, I'm actually going to just temporarily test something real quick. Which does more damage, a single spear strike or a single sword strike? Alright, 168. 277, okay. Sorry, sword, because of your rare upgrade materials, you're falling behind again. Spear, you got the main slot on that party. Congratulations. Right, and also... Ba -ba -ba, I wanted to move that into this slot. Wait. There we go. And this was going to be replaced with the hammer, just in case there are actually any difficult jumps I need to make. So the hammer is... Unfortunately, a necessity. It's not the most interesting weapon to use. Although, arguably, the spear is even less interesting. Since it attacks in one line and does one thing.
And also, ignore enemies. Alright, don't let them hit you, though. Ow. Alright. Oh, these enemies are pretty difficult to ignore, huh? Hey, look at that. Oh, no. All right. This area sure love playing fair. Yeah, this is probably my least favorite area of the game. I wonder why. Could it be that? ranged enemies and unbearably strong mini-boss enemies are some of the most difficult things to deal with. No? No? Wait, can I? Oh, thank goodness. That one's just a free kill. Can I reach you? You can reach me. All right. Ow. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that's where I was earlier. All right, which means that there's yet another one down here, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, friend. Ow. Ow. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. No. Aim to... Okay, thank goodness. So anyways, then I started blasting. The fact that practically every single enemy takes off a incredible chunk of health is not increasing my enjoyment of this level. No, mm -mm. I never remember to cancel heals in time. Oh, and I'm out. Well, that's the end of cheesing enemies with ranged attacks, I suppose. And also the end of healing. I still had my ranged attacks. Oh, there has to be something up there. That was a climbable wall. Do I have to start it? Okay, it just goes back if I start it again. Aha! There's a lever down here. Bring me the next trolley. Oh, hey! I got some casts back. Oh, 
my It was almost as tedious as, um, what is it, the axe throwing elevator? Uh, and when I say almost, I mean more than, uh, by a wide margin. Nobody likes flying enemies. And if you do, you're lying to yourself. And yet another brand new area with an area bench in sight. Aha! Alright, I understand this. I just have to dash through them. I don't think there's enough damage that I could do in that short of a time to, uh... Actually, deal with them. Oh, my goodness. All right. I think a good parry can't solve. You know what? Nothing running from your enemies can't solve either. Oh, I knew there had to be a bench somewhere near. Subterranean lab B4. Oh, this lab is unbearable. Faden's Archives 2. The Verboten Domain, a dangerous place no doubt corrupted by the blight that once served as home to the ancient sorcerers. If we can learn more about the ancient magic responsible for the Blight's origins, uh, I'm sure it'll help the White Priestess. It may even lead to a world devoid of Blight affliction. Alright. Uh, Sorry, Penelope and Mystic T-Ranger. I realize that you probably said hello a little while ago, but my chat was acting up, and only now did I think to uh, refresh the page to see if things were fixed at this point. But hello, hello. Glad to see you here. Uh... Oh, this looks like a... Yep. I'm just too good at finding secrets. I still cannot fathom that the White Priestess was some sort of experiment. Additional restorations. Oh, and another one of these. <sighs> There's good times all around, then. Well, I mean... Except for fighting these enemies. Oh, my goodness. Just attack at normal intervals. Why can't you be like the rest of the enemies? It has such inconsistent attack patterns. Because its spike stab comes out far faster than its uh, slap does. Which makes the timing pretty difficult to remember. Oh, fun. Alright. Why did I just think I could walk up there? Alright, anything secret? 
Why are the frog enemies in this area so non-hostile? If they don't see me, they barely ever try to attack. Oh, and also, uh, completely pointless. There's nothing down there. Priestess, I'm begging you. Hit things normally. Alright. I'm getting my value out of this parry, if it's the last thing I do. These enemies are pretty hale and hardy. Normally, parries would take down a fairly substantial portion, but these guys are getting away with only half health. Alright, secret? There's been a substantial lack in secrets that I can find easily. I, I did get that one ground pound earlier, but... It seemed almost like a gimme. I don't know, maybe that was difficult to find. I have no idea what's actually difficult to find in this game. Because I miss so many of the obvious secrets that I then see later. But I find quite a few obscure ones. Why is everything... That's why everything's shaking. They can move now. I love it. I don't know how comfortable that would be. Ah, oh. These things shouldn't be allowed to walk. I feel like that violates something. Some law of nature. Oh. Alright, can I just dash past you? No. Oh my goodness. That enemy type is... Am I here early? I can't be, right? There's almost nowhere else to go at this point in the game. I appreciate the sentiment. The the head pat sentiment. Alright. Let's just avoid all enemies. I'm just a waste of healing items, anyways. that one's there. It's not dangerous at all. As long as you're able to dodge it. Or not even... As long as you don't jump, you can't get hit by it. Oh my goodness. Seeing the move is... upsetting. Was coming, but I still got hit by it anyways.
Alright, you know what? I should actually be bringing the, uh... Raven and the dog on these adventures. I'd be able to take care of these without, you know, me dying. I've been watching, um, Jujutsu Kaisen recently. It's an anime that I actually missed out on while it was, you know, popular and still airing. But these are reminding me a lot of the... Is it the deformed humans that are created by the... that one villain. I mean... probably intentional. They are, from what I can tell, deformed humans. As are, you know, basically all enemies in this game. Blighted appendage. Increases damage dealt. <laughs> That's surprisingly straightforward for a trinket in this game. Tainted extraction from a blighted subject to various experiments. Given magical properties and fashioned into a tool by a heretical sorcerer. All right, enjoy below, but I'm not going to deal with you anymore. What? Just... All right, no more, please. I'm running out of magic. All right, I should probably cast that when they're coming my direction rather than when they're leaving. I thought it would turn around a little bit faster. Oh. Being on zero healing is not fun. Especially for an area with this type of enemy. It's actually pretty interesting that the poison enemies are still hurt by poison. I wouldn't expect that. I suppose being completely immune to a certain type of damage could be a little bit game-breaking. What? No. Why do you move that far over? That is... Oh, some adjective. Probably unpleasant. It's about all I can think about right now, is unpleasant. Oh. Sort of stopped attacking because I assumed he was dead for some reason. Alright, no. Mm -hmm. This knight is unfortunately bad at hitting low hanging items. Alright. If you hit a bird with a brick, it'll stop moving. Yeah. A lot of enemies in this game don't like to. Ugh, not another one. Alright, I'll take a drink as well. It'll soothe my nerves. <sighs> oh, just water. Hmm. I don't really get anything other than water. Occasionally I'll buy lemonade, but I don't drink things like soda or even coffee. I'll sometimes drink tea, but that's a pretty rare occasion. Mm. Ooh, despite being a butler.
Yes, I... I very much enjoy lemonade. I like it quite a lot. Oh my... How did that... What is this map designed to do? <laughs> Where am I? Why am I? What is this? Nope. Oh. Not again. Uh, this level is causing me pain. All right. I need more relic slots. All right. Let me just go to B3 then. I don't remember being in this area. Oh, I remember this. Never mind. All right. I'm not... Where am I trying to go is the main... My main query I have. I, I know how to get to the elevator, and I know that I unlocked a way that I can get through the elevator. Alright, but this level is where I was climbing into from below. Or no, not from below, from high right. So where is that going to? Oh my goodness. Okay. Can I actually just deal a lot of damage by doing that? I can. I can do an... Frankly, obscene amount of damage. All right. I'll do that more often. I'm getting good at killing the stationary ones now. Ah, okay. So I was just coming back around to the same area that I'd already been in. What's the point then? I'm just going to focus on killing all of the enemies in this level. So that I can clear out missing items. Because I just want to get these levels orange instead of blue. Oh. So many enemies in this area have vastly delayed attacks. It really interrupts the rhythm of the parry. Alright, there has to be a secret behind this one. Ah, oh, right, I remember this one, because the door closed behind me. Wait a second. Killing those enemies. Uh, pa pa pa. What was I gonna say? It charges my SP gauge. So they are useful for something. Oh. Alright, I just need this to die. There we go. Oh, a chain of sorcery. Thank goodness. I've been looking for some of these. Oh, well, that's the entire thing. Alright, this room is cleared out. I never need to come back here again. Thank goodness.
Oh no. Uh, I'm not, I'm dead. Alright, see you around then, Mystic T Ranger. I'm glad you stopped by. Alright then. I'm just going to try and progress in the area then, go down the central elevator. Where's the easiest way to do that? Just from the main lab? I suppose so. And just straight down. It's unfortunate that this area has some of the most annoying enemies because it has some of the best music, in my opinion. Alright, I'll get that gotcha for you up in a second. I just wanted to, uh, get to the next zone before I work on anything else. There we are. Alright. It's gotcha time. Please wait momentarily while I open the wheel. wonder if it still got me logged in. It does! Good job, website. You remembered my login information. Alright. Now then, let's see. What do we get? I'm gonna- I'm gonna spin that again since that was the last one that we got and I don't want to do duplicates. It was literally the exact most recent one. Is this wheel weighted? Right. Oh, how did- I, I put this on- so this is a, uh... This is a reference to the famous uh, Keikaku means plan. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let me actually just look up a clip as reference. Because I'm much better at... Uh... What is it? Mimicking than anything else. I'm going to mute desktop audio. Okay, that's how he says. Katta ke kakudori. Katta means I've won. Oh, and also resume desktop audio. All right. Hope you are satisfied with that. Alright. Please don't tell me that there's going to be another locked door. Blight existed before I was born to the ancients. Long ago, something. There is! I love it. It's the best. Alright. Oh, no, I don't have to. <laughs> I do not have to rewrite everything. I can just return to respite. Thank you. I am glad you appreciate it. Alright then. That probably means I'm gonna want to go to B4 and just go to the left. And then I can take the diagonal up to get into the elevator room and open the final door. All right. And I... Oh, this is going a lot farther down than I wanted. Oh, it got me where I needed to be. A little less 
healthy and intact than I would have liked, but I am here nonetheless. Hmm. I just need to cast as soon as I see the enemies. Why'd they have to put the levers down there? It seems spiteful. More than it needs to be. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna try climbing this. You don't just have a flat wall directly next to a slanted wall for there to be nothing at the top of it. Alright, I'm just going to ignore those. They can barely damage me as is. Oh, this is actually where I was meant to go. Never mind. As always, that was Keikaku Dori, all according to plan. I definitely didn't think I was going for a secret. I knew this was the way to go. Aha. Oh, I'm just getting chipped to death by everything. Oh, those have a bit of height to them, huh? to get into this tunnel that's directly to the right of me. Alright. It takes them so long to pop- wait, why aren't you popping? Oh, because I wasn't with an eye shot. How considerate of you. I don't think it's actually possible to kill that enemy. I think it actually always kills itself. Alright. I'm just going in. Oh. Thank goodness I got hit by a projectile. If I hadn't gotten hit by the projectile of one of those enemies, I would have not parried. Reduces cooldown times. A ring of the ancients that lay dormant deep below the earth. A set of ancients lived underground alongside the blight, flowing from the depths. They were called priestesses. Mm-hmm. I should open that. Is that a shortcut to? Oh, hello, Aqua. Thank you for the host. <laughs> that music probably clashed quite a bit, huh? Alright, how do I get in there? Oh, hello. The soft piano melodies, or the... very high tempo... rock metal of... uh... Ba -ba -ba. Oh, never mind, I didn't have to get in there after all. What is that game called again? Doom. That's it.
Oh, right. Just return to the respite. Oh. Maybe I'll find all of the secrets hidden in this godforsaken area. Although probably not. No, I did not want that. Alright. Well, soon I'll be able to take off the heretic's mask as well. Move and dash speed. HP when recovered. Light farming. Okay. And back up to the top again. Right. Hmm. I must say, for everything I've been complaining about this level, the fact that they've named all of their rest spots uh, uh, alphanumeric values instead of, like, actual names makes it a lot easier to remember which zone is what. These elevators, the way that they're constructed with hands on the top and a skull on the bottom, makes it look like they're just a skeleton that's dive-bombing. The sheer amount of blight that overrun this place is beyond the pale. Oh, great, there's eyeballs in the wall now. I don't like this place. Something new to read. Faden's Archives 1. The White Priestess cleanses the souls of the afflicted through purification by taking on the Blight in their stead. White Priestesses are born with a natural resistance to the Blight. Their souls are unaffected by it. Thusly, the Blight cannot cause them to lose their minds or be driven mad. However, like the afflicted, the effects of the Blight on the body still linger, causing the Priestess agonizing pain. If this suffering could be alleviated, the burden on the White Priestesses would surely be lessened. Hmm. Well, I, uh, I hope you're proud of what you've accomplished thus far. Also, this is probably a boss fight. Yeah. There is a bench right there, and this is the culmination of an area. Hmm. Oh, you've got butterfly wings. That's nice. Hello, Muriel. Ow. Alright, I'm just going to use the strategy that I've seen before, which is... use a lot of ranged attacks. Because... She's kind of busted. Oh, I missed all of those ranged attacks. Alright, looks like I'm entering phase two. Oh, that hurt a lot. Okay. So step one, uh, completely reset all of my stuff. Alright, so I'm going to want to put both of those on. Probably this. No, I think that's going a bit overboard. I'll see about pure damage later. Right now, I think Dragon's Claw. Damage in the air, specifically, will be good. Oh, I need those. Um, what else? I want something that increases the amount of casts I have. Where is that? Increase casts, reduce cooldown. Increase spirit uses. I only have one slot left. Okay, hasten? I think I want to hasten the prayer. 
Alright. We'll see about that set of tools. And also... Uh, completely revamping my skills. Alright, on this one I'm going to have all of my high power ranged abilities. Bird and dog and cast. On this one... Spear, parry, hmm, what else? Fallen chain, perhaps? Alright, and my plan is to use this set here to just chew down the early stages of the health bar and see what the final phase is actually like. Because as far as I can tell, this boss doesn't actually move, which means that these two are theoretically going to be able to do a lot of damage. Oh, I guess you have to be pretty close for the dog to actually go for the attack. Alright, never mind. Dog, you're getting taken off the team. How did I do so much worse that time? Alright. Uncle Sorcerer can replace the dog since the enemy doesn't move. Alright. Let's try that then. It's almost like I wanted to get hit by those attacks. Alright. Get the I'm doing my best. All right, second phase. Hmm. Final phase. Oh, okay. Maybe not final phase. I like that her wings became more prominent. I, uh, I just need to be a bit more careful about it. I'm in danger. Uh. Definitely not the hardest boss. Oh. All right, normally that one... It's where I am, not where I'm not. I should probably... I mean... By probably, I mean definitely use... my ultimate ability more often. Oh, okay.
some reason I keep trying to heal midair, despite that not being an ability that I've ever had in this game. Final phase. Oh, okay. Just rapid. Oh, I think the safest place is actually right next to it when it starts doing that. Oh, falling on it hurts. Okay. I've learned something new. Which means I'm better equipped to take care of it this time. Sometimes the dash just takes me too far. Sometimes it's really hard to tell where it, oh, where it's going to make that, uh, vomit ball go. Right, I forgot that I can just do that. Just a second late on that dodge. Oh well. <sighs> I'm actually thinking I don't need a parry on this boss. I'm going to put the dog where the parry would be. So that when I uh, go in for the melee attacks when it's downed, I can bring out the dog and deal just a little bit extra damage that way. Why? This is going well. He lied.
Yeah, you need to be really close for the dog to actually even try anything. I was not paying as much attention as I needed to. Hmm, that attack. Is there an easy way to defend against that one? I don't think any of the spirits I have will do much. Maybe if I... Start, uh, if I jump up to the top right of the screen and I start using my cast so that I am, you know, out of range of the rest of the, uh, arcing projectiles. That's a big if, though. Right. I almost forgot how the enemy started this phase. Not even directly next to it is safe. Okay. It looks like my plan actually does work. The projectiles can't hit that far back. And there we go. I just needed a way to dodge that one attack. And I had just enough in it in me to take it out. No memory from you? Does that mean you're not dead? I don't think this boss is dead. I think I'm gonna have to fight it again. Unless I get the memory from the creator. Yep, okay. It was all too late. Yes. So earlier we found a diary from, I think, this one. Yes, he was trying to resurrect his... his lover. He never once laid a hand on me. You have proven firsthand that through the blight may trap... that though the blight may trap us in an undying shell of impurity, will never deprive us of who we are. Ah, and there's a butterfly on her head. I've tried countless experiments to bring her back to me, but it has all been to no avail. Thanks to my constant work with the Blight, the Immortal Knights came to being. And now, even the White Priestess suffers as a result of my work. Now that I've defied the King, surely I'll be driven from my lab. <laughs> ah. Truly, I am a pitiable fool without you, Muriel. And yet, I mustn't give up now. 
Not until your life's work is complete. Not until we save the White Priestess. Please, Muriel, one day. Let me hear your voice again. She was doing quite a lot of screaming in the room over. Faden the Heretic manipulates the Blighted to blast enemies. While slow, this deals heavy damage and can blow enemies away at a distance. Faden, the head of King's Mage Brigade, became unusually obsessed with the Blighted experiments after losing his beloved. He sank into depravity. I can unlock doors now. What a useful ability you've given me. I mean, it is useful. But it's not interesting. Because it's not a dash or a ground pound. That blighted behemoth. Though its mind was gone, I feel as if it was directly protecting something. Good, good job. You really are the smart one. Muriel's blighted letter. Please don't blame yourself. I prepared for this eventuality when I set out to study the Blight. I wanted to tell you face to face, but I couldn't find the words. Please forgive me. There's so much more to do. I hope you'll continue res researching in my stead. I'm sorry things ended up this way. Me too, because you were really difficult to fight. Actually, no. You were relatively easy to fight, actually. But, uh, I was just being polite. Aiden's Archives 5. My repeated experiments have produced unexpected results. I have yet to return a Blighted to its former consciousness. However, I have successfully created a new Blighted from a test subject that retains consciousness, thought, and the ability to communicate. I'll have to continue monitoring their progress. But, by creating a Blighted that retains its humanity, have I unlocked the secret to immortality? At least the King will be pleased. I suppose I could call this substance Rung from the White Priestess... Wait, what? Oh, I suppose I could call this substance wrung from the White Priestess the Deathless Elixir. Though, there's nothing I can do for Muriel. Any trace of humanity left in her has long since dissipated. Mm hmm. Thanks, friend. Alright. Really, nothing. Unless... No. Huh. Now that is surprising. All right. Oh. That's a stinger. Musical stinger, I mean, not like wasp stinger. Silva's Blight Stained Note 1. The Robotan Domain is filled with unfathomable experiments. They are so choked with blood I can't even breathe without a mask. I'm the only one who can protect the White Priestess of the Fat. Alright, maybe I don't like this music so much. What? What? Why? If I drink the elixir, will it give me the strength I need to protect her? I'm useless as I am now. As I've been, I want to transform myself. I must, for Sigrid's sake, too. Alright. Well, this is definitely the most unsettling music so far. Reminds me of uh, Majora's Mask music. Um, specifically the, um, oh, which temple was it? Jungle Temple. It's reminding me a lot of the music from the Jungle Temple in Majora's Mask. Right? Oh, it doesn't actually have any level of auto-tracking. Okay. Why are there so many of those? 
I'm actually going to guess it's for lore reasons, not for mechanic reasons. Because there's a whole lot of blighted flowers around here. Uh, but maybe it's also so that you can, uh, you know, keep firing off this ranged attack. Which is quite possibly one of the only ways you can even hope to fight these enemies. Please, bird, just kill this one. I beg of you. Alright. Oh, there's just been no obvious secrets drawn nearer now, and I've never understood more clearly. She is out there, at the end of this blighted breadcrumb trail. Drawing near something. Probably the uh, former head white priestess. The one that is our mother, perhaps? Judging by the notes we've received, it seems likely, if not plausible. Oh. Is this the end of the road for me? Because I can't go up slanted walls? This music. Alright, well... I guess I don't have to be here anymore. Right, so there were plenty of uh, locked doors that I could open around the world. But let's first test out Faden's ability. See what it looks like. Right, it's a sped shot. That probably does a fair amount of damage. Alright, I mean, I don't think I'll be keeping that, honestly. What do I get if I upgrade it? Um, just bonus damage? Okay. Not too chuffed about that, really. Okay. Oh, I just... Went through that area, ignoring a whole bunch of doors, huh? Right, but here, the door directly to the left of this area that I'm teleporting to is a locked door. I think. Oh, I forgot to uh, change it, but it's fine. This is actually really strong. It's actually unbelievably strong. I'm glad I tried it out, because, uh, maybe you're gonna stay. Oh, there it is. One locked door, please. Oh, I wonder if that insignia is anything special. All right. I'll kill the harmless NPCs because I might hurt myself stubbing my toe on one of them. Oh, not again. Oh, actually, I think this is a different type of enemy.
but has too much health. Ah, mmm. Oh, that's how much damage it does. Over half my health bar, I see. All right, well then. I suppose it is technically hidden behind a wall that can only be unlocked after obtaining this power. I just sort of assumed that it wouldn't be difficult because it's in an earlier level. Wait, right, you know what? I'm just running. Oh, mm, mm, hit the enemies near you too. I understand spears are actually pretty bad at that, typically speaking, but... Uh... Alright, here we go. Oh, I probably just got hit by two at once, never mind. It's not as dangerous as I thought. Just very. And not impossibly dangerous. Oh, my health was low. Um, not too much longer. Again, I normally only stream for three hours. I've been bumping it up to four recently, but, uh... Today is a pretty late night stream, so... I'm not going to be going for... Not but eight minutes longer. I'd, I'd probably finish it after I take out this mini-boss type enemy. Because I do have things to do tomorrow as well. So I can't just be spending all day here. Alright. I think now is also probably a good time to figure out what uh, the limit break does. All right. Oh. There's just always that one little dot that's left over. those enemies. Wow. Uh, and I suppose it's a good thing uh, that I have the crow. Or else this might be a nearly impossible fight. Against that hive. Try and catch as many bugs in the uh, spinning blade as. or not blade, but uh, mace as I can. Alright, let's bring back the crow. The fact that this pustule isn't in an easily accessible location. You could just never be able to kill this in certain circumstances. You'd have to die. Oh. Oh, and it was all for a stone tablet fragment. An item with no immediate value. Alright. That's fine. I was honestly expecting a stone tablet fragment that time. Alright. But. 
Oh, this has been a fairly eventful day for uh, Ender Lilies. Let's see, let's see. I suppose this brings us to the end. Who's available? Ah, oh, we could go visit Kojiro. Why don't we? I just need to bring up the raid menu. And also Kojiro's stream, so that I'm not lagging behind ever so slightly with the rest of everyone. Oh, let's mute that advertisement. Alright, so, thank you all so much for coming along. We're off to visit Kojiro. A-O-G. Put that on my list. Thank you. There we go. Ah. Uh, and as always, if you would like to copy whichever relevant raid message you'd like, for some reason, I think one of them is showing up, so I suppose just take that one. Um, we will be heading. Oh, right, because Streamlabs chatbot disconnected midstream because my internet had a hiccup. Well, that's fine. Um, but yes, I, I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. It's time to bid adieu to you all. Have a nice rest of your day or night, whichever it is. Au revoir.